Hi friends, in this video we are going to study third question of the 2018 HNDA financial management pass paper. This question evaluates cost of capital subject. If you think this video is useful, give a like, share with your friends and subscribe this channel with click the bell button for getting the notification of the forthcoming videos. Okay, let's go to the video. ENSOP PLC is a software development company and its main business activities operate in Columbus City area. The company's capital structure mainly consists of ownership shares. The following capital structure appears as at 31st March 2017. Rs. 10 ordinary shares. The total value of the ordinary share at par value 60 million. Retained earning 5 million. 9% irredeemable preference shares rupees 10 each. So total value of the irredeemable preference share is 4.5 million. 8% irredeemable debentures rupees 10 rupees 100 each rupees 1.8 million. So total value of the cost of capital is 71.3 million at the power value. The current market prices of company shares are rupees 30 and rupees 18 respectively for ordinary and preference shares. The company's last year dividend was rupees 2 per ordinary share and then dividend has been growing at a compound rate of rupees 6% per annum. A debentures of the company have and current market price of rupees 60 and rupees 100 in nominal value the rate of corporation tax is 30 percentage prepare a table indicating the percentage of each finance financing source their costs and weighted average cost of capital based on market value basis so first we have to calculate the cost of ordinary chair capital ke as per the question we can apply in this equation to calculate the cost of ordinary chair d1 divided by p0 plus g here d1 dividend d1 equal d0 into 1 plus g D not equal 2 rupees as per the question into 1 plus G 1 plus growth rate is 6 percentage so D1 equal 2 into 1.06 2.12 rupees P not equal Market value of the ordinary chair is 30 rupees as per the question. So now we can calculate the KE. So we can apply in the equation as per the details. D1 we have calculated 2.12 divided by P0. P0 equal 30 rupees plus growth rate growth rate 6 percentage 2.12 divided by 30 plus 6 percentage so answer for the ke cost of ordinary chair is 13.07 percentage Now we are moving to calculate cost of preferential KP. We can apply in the equation to compute the cost of preferential. Here D1 dividend is
power value of reference share into dividend percentage power value of the preference share is power value of the preference share is as per the question we should calculate power value of the prefer power value of the preference share is as per the question rupees 10 and Power value of the preference share is rupees 10 and 9 percentage dividend. So 10 into 9 percentage, 10 into 9 percentage. So answer 0 0.9 rupees D1. P not equal market value of the preference share is as per the question 18 rupees so now we can apply in the equation to calculate the cost of reference here or kp 0 0.9 divided by 18 rupees so answer is 0 0.9 divided by 18 rupees Five percentage, or we can say without the percentage, zero point zero five. Like that, we can say zero point one three zero six. Of zero seven. Now we are going to calculate cost of debt, irredeemable cost of debt. We can calculate in the equation. I one minus T divided by P naught. Here I is interest. T equal tax percentage, P not equal market value of the debenture. So I I equal power value of the debenture into interest percentage. As per the question, power value of the debenture is 100 rupees, 8 percentage interest. So, 100 rupees into 8 percentage. So, I equal 8 rupees. T equal tax percentage. 30 percentage P not equal market value of the debenture is sixty rupees. So P not equal sixty rupees. As per the information, we can apply in the equation to calculate the cost of debt. Okay, D. Eight rupees. 
into 1 minus t 1 minus t 30 percentage divided by p naught p naught d equal 60 rupees so answer for the k d equal Eight into seventy divided by sixty. So answer for the KD cost of debt equal nine point three three percentage, or we can say without the percentage zero point zero nine three percentage. 0.093 now we have calculated cost of equity ke 13.07 percentage and calculated cost of preferentia kp five percentage and also calculated kd cost of debt is 9.33 percentage now we are moving to calculate weighted average cost of capital as for the question ke equal ordinary share kp equal preferential kd equal debentures these are sources of capital as for the question now we have to calculate the these sources of capital at market value in the question the values is given at power value so we have so we have to convert it to market value to compute the weighted average cost of capital so total value of the ordinary chair is 60 million at power value at rupees 10 each so number of chair we can calculate 60 million divided by 10 like that we can calculate the number of referentia 4.5 million divided by 10 and we can calculate the irredeemable divanger number of irredeemable divanger 1.8 million divided by 100 so we can calculate the market value of the ordinary chair 60 million divided by 10 into market price market price of the ordinary chair is 30 rupees so 60 million divided by 10 into 30 60 million divided by 10 into 30 so 180 million ordinary chair at market value And we can calculate the preferential at market value like this 4.5 million divided divided by 10 rupees at power value into market price market price of the preferential is 18 rupees so 4.5 million divided by 10 into 18 8.1 million like that we can calculate the debentures at market value as per the question 1.8 million total value of the debenture at power value rupees 100 each so 1.8 million divided by 100 into 60 rupees at market price 1.8 million divided 100 into 60 rupees to calculate the debentures at market value so 1.08 million so now we can calculate the weight as per the market value 
ordinary chia capital divided by total uh, source of capital and preferential capital divided by total capital and debenture divided by total we have calculated already cost of capital so we can apply directly uh, for the ordinary chairs 13.07 percentage for the preferentias 5 percentage for the preferentias 5 percentage for the cost of debt kd equal 9.33 percentage now we multiply weight into cost of capital like that weight into cost of capital weight into cost of capital so total 12.7 percentage this is weighted average cost of capital as per the question 